Hey everybody, today on Henry's How To's, I'm going to show you how to cook sticky pork spare ribs. Let's get straight into it. Now, so the first thing I've done is set my oven to 150 degrees Celsius. That's equivalent to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now just in front of me here, I've got one pork spare rib. I've got my butcher to cut it into two parts, as you can see. Generally they're about three parts wide like that. So just get your butcher to cut it however you like. Now basically we're just going to marinate this. So what we're going to do is add about a tablespoon of Tabasco sauce or hot sauce. About a tablespoon of yellow mustard. One cup, about half a cup, sorry, of barbecue sauce. about half a cup of tomato sauce one tablespoon of honey one tablespoon of minced garlic about three tablespoons of brown sugar about a quarter cup of olive oil One teaspoon of ground chili, a tablespoon of salt, just a couple of cracks of pepper. So now just go ahead and rub that in. Try and get it very evenly combined so you can get get it even marinated. Okay, so you want it well covered like that. So basically, go ahead and cover this and pop it in the fridge for about two hours so all those flavors can get in. Okay guys, so I've just brought our ribs back out of the cool room. Now, just grab a large baking tray like this and I've just lined it with some baking paper. Because it is sticky, it may stick to the tray. So let's be safe. I'll just lightly spray it with some cooking oil. Now go ahead and place your ribs on, just like that. Okay, now guys, you're going to have some leftover marinade, as you can see. What we're going to do with this is every half an hour while our ribs are in the oven, we're going to baste it. Okay, so place the ribs into the oven now. It's going to be a total cooking time of approximately two hours. Okay guys, so our first 30 minutes is up. So just go ahead and bring your ribs out like that. As you can see, they're slightly cooked. So what we're going to do is flip these over. Just like that. Now with the basting that we had, I'm just going to use a little pastry brush here. And we're just going to add some to both. Just like that. You're going to be a bit generous as well. Plenty of flavor in there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put these back in and we'll come back again in half an hour and we'll turn them over again and baste them again. Okay, so it's been another 30 minutes, so we'll have another look. As you can see, we're getting closer, so it's time to flip these again. Okay, so give it a final basting. Just like that. Now we'll put it back in again. And we'll leave this for another half an hour and then we'll turn the oven off. Okay guys, so it's been one and a half hours now. I've just gone ahead and taken the ribs out of the oven. As you can see, they're perfectly cooked and they look sticky. So we'll go ahead and serve these now.